and welcome to Mission Now. Uh, let's move on to our very first mission story. And some pupils of the Busia District Assembly Primary School in the Upper West region are staying away from school due to inadequate furniture. Private individuals have supported the school with furniture, but this is not enough. District Education Authorities say inadequate furniture is a key challenge impeding improvement of education. Off and ready to start lessons. What is in store for them is known. Pupils are not happy. Their comfort can't be assured. What is furniture is an eyesore. Square. It's square correct. Mm. Square is a plain figure with all the sizes being equal. The school has received some furniture, but this has not been helpful. Most have broken down. Built with metals, it can't be repaired by local carpenters. Teachers have made efforts to get some furniture. This leaves the lower primary better off. But the upper primary is with nothing. The school's challenge is even more worrying when it comes to accommodation. Teachers stay far away from the community due to poor accommodation. The only building to house teachers is in a sorry state. The time they use to walk from the town to this place, they waste a lot of time. Because it's a new district, one will send some of this information, they'll tell that there are no fans. So that's the response we've been hearing from them. The community cannot provide accommodation. If you struggle to get a decent room, they pay it at 500 a year. So expensive that the teachers cannot afford. So most of them commute. And in commuting, they lose part of the contact hours. The district, however, wants the assembly to change the situation. At the health sector, if they build a cheap compound, they add accommodation to the cheap compounds. We are also pleading with the assembly that when they are putting up classroom blocks, they should think of the accommodation of the teacher. That may go a long way to help us cut down the waste of the contact hours. The district assembly is not happy with the state of education. When students sit for exams and the pass rate is 30.1%, it is something that you should like. It is absolutely not acceptable. So when we came in, we went around to all our schools, the places that need infrastructure. I sat with the education director together with my coordinating director and the district assembly in, in general. So all the places that need basic infrastructure, we've taken note and we have started constructing them. The assembly, in partnership with stakeholders, are working hard to improve education. The Pandai District Education Director, Sixtus Adiko, uh, is worried lack of educational support coupled with low teacher motivation are affecting academic performance across the district. Speaking in an exclusive interview with TV3, the educationist reviewed even most of his colleagues' directors have rejected postings to the district due to poor motivation. <laughs> Carved out of the Gunja district in 2008, the Pandai district has not seen any major infrastructural improvement. The situation, according to the district director of education, Sixto Sadiko, has extended to the education sector. In some of the schools, we do not even have classroom uh, facilities. Some schools, take a school like uh, Don Tiobo, uh, school complex. It is the PTA and it is a church group. They, they actually initially put up some structures. But these structures, they are not enough. And you go and find the school has very thick enrollment, high enrollment in the school. 
yet the classrooms, some even have to sit in chairs, or some sit on the trees to really learn. And this is not good enough. And even though the teachers are doing well in that particular school because they come to school regularly and the teaching and learning is taking place, but I think that with the provision of this infrastructure, it will actually go a long way to promote teaching and learning in such schools. He lamented teachers refuse postings to the district whilst the ones that post requests for transfers due to lack of motivation. When teachers are posted to this district, instead of us the, the, uh, implementing this policy of saying that some of the newly to, uh, some of the teachers who come, you do a certain number of years before you qualify to go on steadily with pay. Our district, instead of doing three, four years, even when someone from Kwandai does two years, you should be considered as eligible to go for further study if he wants to go on steadily with pay. Because this will serve as an incentive. Now, like the teacher who will wait in water for four years up to the waist level. This year, when the teacher came to me, said, Director, I have, in fact, I don't know whether you hate me, why you have made me to be suffering in that. I said, yes, uh, I see with you. If you, once you are prepared, you have served in that particular community, I will transfer you to another place and we'll get some other teachers to also go there. He revealed even some education directors refuse postings to the district directorate due to poor infrastructure. Since the district was uh, started in 2008, no district director, no substantive district director has ever stayed in this district for more than one year. The first district director that was appointed, he stayed for one year and left. And this is because they find the place as totally deprived and it lacks so many uh, uh, facilities and the challenges are so many that when you come, you actually, it's like you are coming to suffer. So it makes many people, after one year, they run away. The first one left after one year. And after that, people from neighboring districts were overseeing the district. Until 2013, when I was posted to the district, then I came. Uh, 2013, the following year, I also wanted to leave. I was even transferred. I managed to get my transfer, but uh, after that, the one who was to take over from me refused to come. So they had to, uh, the then regional director had to play with me to stay. And after I stayed, nobody ever came this way again. And I'm here. I know very soon I'll go on retirement before they now bring someone. And I'm going on retirement very soon. Uh, come 2018, I'll be going on retirement. And that's it for Mission Ghana with support from uh, Star Ghana, Danida, uh, European Union and UK Aid. Stay with us. We'll be back with more stories. <laughs>